Hey everybody, what's going on? It's Mr. Hino with Missing Those Lego Robotics. Today's video, I basically want to update you on the Mr. Hino's Lego Robotics World Records. I basically want to help clarify some of the rules we had, especially for the strongest robot. And I also want to present to you two new challenges. So if you want to see everything, stay with me. And after watching this video, if you like what you see, go ahead and hit that subscribe button right there. Come on, I know you can do it. Okay, for those of you that don't know what I'm talking about, a few weeks ago I put out a video challenging those of you that do LEGO EV3 Robotics to try to set or break a Mr. Hino's Robotics World Record. And what I mean by that was one example was, you know, what's the lowest robot you can make that can go under a limbo bar? And right now, Ishan has the record for eight holes above the limbo bar. Let me go ahead and show you that. So we also had challenge number two, and that's where we're having the most difficulty because I was trying to find something that our robots can lift, but you know, have it be something heavy enough that we can challenge ourselves with, but also have it be an item that everybody has access to. So I want to clarify that, and then I have two new challenges for you guys, and then at the end of this month, or August 1st, we'll figure out who are still our record holders and who might be a brand new world record holder. So let's go ahead and let's clarify the strongest robot. So basically, if you remember, I had us lifting that toilet paper roll with the axle going across. The only problem was, you know, it, it needed to be something out of your kit because, you know, if people from all over the world are trying this, I can't say, you know, put this inside of it and somebody around the world might not have that. So I have a clarification today that might make this a little bit more clear and, you know, doable for everybody. So let's go ahead and say, let's keep the toilet paper roll. Let's keep the axle going across. But let's go ahead and say that we can put things inside that we can easily access the weight of it. For instance, if I put quarters inside my toilet paper roll, I know that, you know, the weight of that. In fact, it's around 5.6 grams per quarter. And that's something that everybody can go online and verify. So let's go ahead and say, if you're going to put some other things inside of your toilet paper roll that are not Lego EV3, have it be something where everybody can, you know, verify the weight of it. Somebody mentioned double A batteries. Great idea. And you know, we're not going to nitpick on 0.3 of a gram or something like that. You know, we can put double A batteries because I can easily look up on the internet and figure out, okay, you know, one double A battery weighs about this much. So if the person puts in five, we can verify or come close to how much that weighs. So for those of you that are still trying to have the strongest robot, and those of you that have been putting Lego EV3 pieces in, now let's go ahead and bump up the challenge and start putting in things like quarters, AA batteries. And if you guys have any other ideas, throw them down in the comments section. Just make it something where it's pretty universal. You know, everybody should, you know, have AA batteries. You know, if you live in a different country, maybe pick a very common coin so that all of us can look it up and go, hey, you're right, that does weigh about this much. So what we want to do is just have everybody, no matter where they're from, be able to just kind of have an idea of how much this item weighs. So for those of you, again, quarters, AA batteries, you can start to put those inside. Just like you've been doing in your videos, just show us what it is before you put it in. So we can just count and know how many of that item you're putting in. Okay. So hopefully that's cleared up. If you still have any questions, throw them down in the comment section. 
but I'm super excited to get to the two new challenges. So today it's going to be number one is going to be the discus throw. What I want to do is, you know, this year we were supposed to have the 2020 Olympics, but because of all this virus stuff, it just got canceled. And who knows if we're going to be even have, you know, have it next year either. But today I wanted to kind of give the theme of Olympics and have the discus throw. So I'll explain that in a second. And I also wanted to have, you know, we've been doing the lowest, we've had the strongest, and with the discus throw, it's going to be the farthest. Challenge number two today is going to be the fastest, and it's going to be some type of relay that I will show you in a second. But first, let's go to the discus. Okay, everybody, so this challenge is going to be called the discus throw. So the only thing you're going to need is some type of container. I'm using my EV3 kit, but it, it can be a shoe box or something like that. Okay, news flash. I have to change this. Let's make it the EV3 kit because I just realized that if you use a different container and it's shorter, you might end up having a longer distance than somebody else who has a higher EV3 kit. So news flash. Everybody, let's go ahead and just use your EV3 kit. And you're going to need your gray gear. Um, try to use your gray gear because I just, again, want everybody to be able to use the same item here. So basically the objective is pretty easy. We're going to be trying to make it into your container from the farthest distance away. So this is going to be a distance record. And the other thing I'm going to need you to do in your video is basically have a tape measure so you can prove how far it is from the edge of the gear here to the edge of the container that you're going to be tossing it into. Let me go ahead and demonstrate that. Okay, I have my tape measure here. Let me go ahead and show you what I want you to do in your video. Basically, whatever you're measuring with, just have the tip of it be right where your gear would be. And then just come over, oops, drop the gear. And then just come over here and show us where the edge of your container is. So if you're looking, that can be right there at the one foot nine inch mark. That way we can just verify how far your robot is or how far the gear is from the container. And then just go ahead and show us that you can make it that distance like this. Whoops and show that it makes it into the container. So I'm sure you guys are gonna be one foot nine inches, but that's basically how I want your video to look like. I went ahead and put a delay on this just so you can see the whole thing. So that's basically what I wanna see in your video that the distance, how far the gear was from the container, and that your robot can actually get the gray gear inside of the container. So everybody, that is the discus challenge. Okay, everybody, now we're gonna go to the cuboid relay race. Let me go ahead and show you that. Okay, here's what you're gonna need for the cuboid relay race. You're gonna need two sheets of paper, one of them's gonna be base, and the other one's gonna be the home for the cuboid. This is a cuboid. I have left you the link in the description on how to build this, but I'm sure most of you won't need to use those instructions. You can just see how this was built. Okay, so here is gonna be the fastest world record for the cuboid relay race. Your robot's gonna have the cuboid in base. So this one's gonna be a two-step process. The first uh, step in this is your robot is going to have to place the cuboid into base. It needs to be completely in. I don't care if it's back here or on the side or even right there, but your video needs to show that the cuboid is completely inside of that paper. And notice the paper is 12 inches away. So you don't need to have a ruler, but it would be nice to see in your video that the paper is 12 inches away so we can see that. And then you're gonna need that same gray gear. Okay, so after your robot 
takes the cuboid to the paper, your robot will come back to base. Make sure, like first Lego League, that your robot is completely in base before you would put this gear on. And your job, the second part, is for your robot to put this gear on top of the cuboid, wherever you placed it, on top, and travel back to base again. And that's when we will time the entire thing. So let's go over that one more time just to be clear. The first step is for your robot, which has the cuboid on your robot. Your robot's going to take the cuboid, place it onto the paper, come back to base. Your robot then can be, you can place the gear on your robot and your robot will go place the gear on top of your cuboid and travel back. And we will stop your time as soon as the entire robot is completely in base. So this is a world record on speed. We're going to be timing the amount of time it took for your robot to complete the whole thing. I hope it's obvious that you cannot speed up your video. So we'll be watching your green lights as your robot travels. And this is going to try to just be the fastest one to complete this challenge. So for those of you that are new, let me show you how this works. Once you feel like you have the world record and want to give it to Mr. Hino, just record it on your phone or whatever device that you record video on. Send it to Hino Lego Robotics at gmail.com. Try to clip and, you know, shorten your video to just the part that I need to see, like the measurement of the distance and the full um, run or mission that you're doing. And then send it to me and then cross your fingers and hope that you got the record. Okay, everybody. So there you go. Let's go ahead and clarify and recap the entire video for today. So going back to the strongest robot, you may use non-EV3 parts or pieces or things like quarters, AA batteries. Just make it something where it's easy for Mr. Hino. Just look up and see how much this item weighs. So, you know, good luck to you on that one. And again, place it inside the toilet paper roll. Show us what you're putting inside so we know exactly what's inside the container. So now let's recap today's two new challenges. So the discus throw. So again, make sure you show us the distance that you're, you know, from the edge of the gear to the edge of your container so we know how far your robot tossed that discus in. So this is, again, going to be a distance record. And then for the cuboid um, relay race, we're looking for the fastest time of your robot placing the cuboid into the paper, coming back, putting the gear on top of the cuboid, and coming back. So we're trying to get the fastest time. So be looking for that video. Uh, remember, I always will update the world records on the first of the month. So be waiting for August 1st to see who is in the, you know, who has the world record, who broke the world record. And also, if you break a world record, um, I'm going to be sending you a certificate. I already sent a Sean one for his eight holes um, below the bar or above the bar. It looks like this. And I'll be sending you a digital copy of your certificate once we verify that you did have the world record or broke the world record. Okay, guys, so hopefully you're having fun with these. I apologize again for the strongest robot. It was just one of those tough things where, you know, when you get people from all over the world, you want to try to make it as universal as you can, where everybody has access to the same thing. So that's just a tough thing. So hopefully the discus throw and the cuboid relay race is a lot easier for everybody to accomplish. Okay, guys, good luck to you. I am Mr. Hino from Mission Osega Robotics. I'm out. He's out. He's out. We got this. We got this. We got this, guys. Hey, guys. Mr. Hino here. Thank you so much for watching. And if you love robotics, don't forget to check out these videos also because they're cool. Okay, guys? Take care.